When the mountain was high and the valley was too low, we pulled through together, step by step. We stood by each other, step by step. Here in the Twin Cities Metro, it's estimated that there are close to 4,000 adults who are homeless on any given night. Regardless of where they sleep tonight, tomorrow they'll spend the day trying to figure out how to turn things around and get back to a more stable life. And here at Small Sums, we can help them do just that. Everybody has to be out the shelter by 7 o'clock. Uh, and then the shelter doesn't open up again until 5 o'clock or well, 6 o'clock that evening. So that's a long block of time in which you got to be outside trying to figure out how you're going to apply for housing, look for work. It's a long day. So how did they get to this point of not being able to have a place of their own to come home to each night? Well, usually it's a combination of bad luck, bad timing, bad judgment, and it's often tipped by the bigger problems of lack of opportunity, discrimination, violence, or a health crisis. Some of it could have been prevented, others not. But when they come to small sums, things are starting to turn around. They've found jobs, and that's an impressive feat given the daunting circumstances of their daily homeless life. And they've done it the same way everyone works their way out of a bad situation. They've done it step by step. I was in the shelter. That was one step. The next step was to go out every day and look for a job, and that was my job. That was the second step, to go out and do what I needed to do for me and my daughter. That was the only thing that was on my mind, is me and her. So during the interview, we discussed the, uh, the requirements for the job, and it was a business dress. So I had come from a background of a lot of jumpers and jogging suits and stuff of that nature. So I had no dress shirts, no dress pants, no ties. I didn't even know how to tie a tie. Every day at Small Sums, our homeless clients come through our door because they need help with their next step. What they need is pretty basic, but when you've been homeless and unemployed, not having work clothes, work shoes, tools, or a bus pass can stop you right in your tracks from moving forward. Having a new job, you don't have any money. Coming out of homelessness, you don't have any money. And uh, so having that bus pass helped me to get back and forth to work. It, it's just, it was great because uh, having just, people un don't understand, it's the little things like that that makes a really big difference. All of this leads to the best next step, not being homeless anymore. So today I wanna to ask you to step in and be a part of this powerful solution with us. Be a part of it by providing something that's just practical and simple. Pay for a bus pass, two pair of work pants, a set of tools, a pair of work shoes. Because it's like what Angela said about the little things, they really can make a big difference. They can change a person's life. And you could be a part of that. We'll do it together, one person at a time, one step at a time. And this year, with your help, we can help more than 600 people. That's a lot of changed lives, and we need your help to make it happen. Being back at work is, uh, is such a blessing. I wanted people to know where I've been, what I'm going through, and where I am now. I still give a lot of credit to Small Sums because you all helped me. You really did. Everything is coming together now. Step by step. In getting the job, step I mean, everything step. changed. My self-esteem went up. I felt like I was a person again, accepting the society again. I didn't have to feel ashamed. I, I didn't have to carry my bag with me every time and be promoting that homeless look all the time. I had to buy some clothes and actually get a place to get some sanctuary, because that's what I really wanted, was a place to call my own again. We'll pull through together, step by step. We're gonna do it, step by step. I'm gonna make it, step by step.